Hey everyone, it's Paul from Alexandria Knife Sharpening and Laser Engraving. So, this video is kind of for a very specific group of people, but I'm going to appeal to all my followers, my knife sharpeners, my laser people. Please don't just like blow, click it away, like if you're a knife sharpener, like I, this is one I need to kind of get some traction and get out there. One, one of the difficult things of having a channel that kind of covers two subjects YouTube's not really designed really great for that. Now they'll tell you, oh, you know, we want you to have multiple interests and blah, 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 blah. But the, the reality of it is if the majority of my people are knife sharpeners and they see something laser and they don't have a laser and they kind of click away, that can hurt your monetization and stuff for other stuff. So that's why a lot of people, if they have more than one interest, will start a whole new channel and everything there. But you know, the laser engraving, as I've mentioned before, goes so well with knife sharpening. That's why I do them both. So please, my knife sharpeners, if you don't have a laser, please don't just, you know, click away from this. Go ahead and like this video. Do me a favor. Help some other people out there. Let me get the word out on this thing. So what happened? Let me explain to you what happened. So over here, Xtool sent me this S120 watt, which is just awesome. I'm really looking forward to uh, doing the review on this and and doing things with this laser and I already owned the s140 watt and I got this one back around Christmas time and What Xtool asks you to do when you first get the machine you have to upgrade the firmware and they tell you to use the cable that they provide plug it directly into your computer and do the upgrade for the laser module and basically the whole machine what happened to me the very first time I did mine on my 40 watt is it started doing the upgrade. It got about 50% through and it crashed and it crashed like hard and it wouldn't do anything after that. So it wouldn't recognize the cable. It wasn't, you know, I, I, everything I did, I unplugged it. I restarted, I restart the computer, nothing was working. And I'm like, oh man, what am I going to do? Am I going to have to send this gigantic laser back in? And so I sent Xtool a couple emails. Now, I've mentioned before with uh, lasers, a lot of times you're dealing with overseas uh, companies. So I knew I'm like, oh, this is going to be terrible because I'm going to have to wait probably a couple days. And it was Christmas time. Uh, about two days went by. And then I, and that was when it dawned on me, maybe I should go on to uh, a user group. And that's how I found one of my first user groups. I went on to uh, Facebook, found an Xtool S1 user group. And somebody there helped point me to this article to do a forced upgrade of the firmware. And so why am I doing this video? Well, last night I'm setting up this S1. I'm got it all doing. I got the ventilation hooked up. I'm all ready to go. I power it on. I run my cable over it. I hook up my computer. It's doing the upgrade and I'll be darned if it doesn't do exactly the same thing that my other one did. It crashed right in the middle of it and wouldn't get recognized. It wouldn't do anything. Fortunately, I saved the article from before and I said, you know what? I've been through this before. And within about five or 10 minutes, I had it fixed, everything upgraded and good to go. But this isn't really out there or easy to find. And if someone doesn't kind of point you to it, so I'm sure this has happened to other people. That's why I'm making this video. That's why I'm asking you guys to like it, share it, you know, turn it on. Even if you don't have a laser, let it run through to the end just so it gets some runtime. I'm just trying to get this information out there to help my uh, laser folks and anyone that has an S1 that gets a new one and maybe it crashes when you're doing the firmware update. Very annoying. Uh, when it happened to me at Christmas time, it was kind of like your parents bought you the most awesome toy for Christmas and forgot to get the batteries for it. And all the stores are closed and you can't play with it because it doesn't have any batteries. That's how I felt for those two days until I found out how am I going to get this thing up, upgraded and, and running. All right. So now let's, we're going to go to the computer. I'm going to show you uh, the article. I'll put the links in. I'm going to show you exactly what steps to take and how to do it. Uh, it's not, it's not super difficult. Uh, it's not super easy either, but I will tell you this. After I had it upgraded, the machine has been just a joy to work with ever since then. Every upgrade I've ever needed 
for the software since then has been done through Wi-Fi and it goes flawlessly. For whatever reason, it's this initial out of the box kind of upgrade that you have to do where I've run into it crashing. All right, so off to the computer and let's get started with that. The first part that you have to do when you're upgrading your S1 is you have to open Xtool Creative Space, which this is Xtool Creative Space, and you will look for your machine and if it's connected via USB, you'll see the connection there and you'll start your upgrade process. Now, if it fails, here is what you have to do, but let me show you where to find the information first before I even show you. Okay, so if you go to this site right here, which is support.xtool.com slash article slash 1076, and I will put this in the description of the video, you want upgrade the firmware for Xtool S1 article, and if you read through here, that tells you exactly step by step how to use the original cable and what to do to upgrade your unit. Piece of cake till it fails. <laughs> now, if it fails, what you want to do is you want to go to the section that says upgrade through developer mode. So if your unit fails and it's not recognizing the cable, you're going to follow these instructions right here. Upgrade through developer mode. Now I'm going to jump back to XCS so I can show you how to get into developer mode. So you're going to want to be in whatever machine that is that you're using. Uh, if you have multiple machines or already have some other Xtool machines, make sure you're in the machine that you're trying to upgrade. You're going to come over here to where the little X is in the down arrow, and you're going to go into settings. And if you come here, the third setting down you'll see is developer mode. You're going to click developer mode, and then you can hit start to update the firmware. Now, there's still a couple things I have to show you because it's not just that simple, all right? So I'm going to go back to the article again for a second because I want to show you a couple other things you got to do. All right, so as you scroll down, you'll see here, download the firmware file. You actually need to download three files. So you're going to do the main control board, the Wi-Fi module, and the laser module. So you can download... If you want to download all three at one time, you can. I highly recommend that you print out this article. One nice thing, if you do them one at a time, then you kind of know which file it is because when you go look for the file, sometimes you'll be like, oh, was this the main control board? Or Because you can see here, it doesn't say it in there anywhere, okay? You can see main control board is this... Uh, D2 GD470 and the firmware module is a D2 ESP32 you know so it doesn't say anywhere in here this is the main control board module it would be nice if the name said main control board module but it doesn't so download all three of these maybe take down you know enough digits or write down on a piece of paper so you know which one is which and then once you have all those downloaded, now you can go back to XCS. Again, go back into your settings, go into developer mode, click start. Okay, then you're going to come over here and you're going to find which unit you're upgrading. So this is going to be a S1 and then you're going to come down here. All right, and you'll see here, you're going to have to pick the appropriate COM port that your unit's on. Now, if, you, if you're using a Windows machine, it's a little bit different. It'll actually say the COM port numbers. On my Mac, it has always said modem. Now, neither of my machines are turned on right now, so you're not even seeing it. But normally, if the machine would be turned on, you'll see one that says modem, and that's the one you click on. Then you're going to click on 
which one of the files that you want to start with to upgrade. So if you're doing the main control board first, you're going to click main control board. Then you're going to come down here and you're going to select the file. And then you got to go to where you save those. Now, mine are still here from last night. So you can see here are my three files. And then I can just select that file. It'll go take me back here, hit update, and it'll start to update. And then if it takes it, it'll say update complete. And you know you're good. Then you can go to the very next file, click laser driver, go to the laser dri driver file, click on that, come back, click update, do that for all three. And once you do all three of those, you will have forced upgraded your Xtool S1 laser with the latest software and you should be good to go. So that's what you do if your unit crashes during the initial upgrade using the wire. So I just wanted to share that with everybody because as I said, it has happened to me two times with both machines. So I figure I can't be the only one out there that this has happened to. And I wanted to share that with everybody in case you run into that situation. I hope that helps you. And I will put the links to that article in the YouTube description of this video. Thank you, everybody. And have a